Hello everyone and welcome back to Brad Summer. I did a video on this game guys and it got age restricted really freaking quick. So um, I apologize if you couldn't watch it. If you're under the age of 18 or your YouTube channel is under the age of 18, you can't watch age restricted videos. Plus YouTube hates them. So when I, when, uh, whenever a video gets age restricted, YouTube basically stops recommending it and it kind of falls off the face of the earth. So not a lot of people got to see the first video, but this time guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play in uh, PG-13 mode. There's a, there's a button for that here somewhere. Here we go. PG-13 version. So we're gonna go back into the game. We're gonna date the other two girls, but this time I'm assuming there's not gonna be any, nud any nudity or any like explicit sexual positions. I blurred them all out, but apparently that wasn't good enough. So yeah, we'll play the PG-13 version, guys. We're gonna go back and we're gonna date maybe bang. I don't know what happens in the PG-13 version. I mean, if you're 13, you know what banging is, so I'm assuming it's okay. So we're gonna bang. We're gonna bang two more girls. So if you guys didn't see the first video of this, the way it works is Brad is uh, trying to get a summer job because his scholarship got canceled because he's a crappy student. He gets a job at a prep school. There's three girls, pretty girls around his age, and they're uh, applying for college. So he's like helping them apply for college and things like that. And the rule is no fraternizing with the students. He's not allowed to uh, date, bang, etc. any of the girls. So we're trying to do it in secret. Now in the last video, he, uh, he was dating one of the girls and his shoes were seen by Miss Jones, so she knew he was in the room hiding and she was just like, yeah, next time, make sure you hide the shoes as well. And she let us off with it, which was great. But um, now that girl is done and we have to try and get with the other two girls. So Brad interviews all three of the girls, guys, and each time you get the same thing. Ask her out or don't ask her out. Depending on the girl, you get a different answer. Some girls will, one of them at least, will tell on you. She'll tell Miss Jones and then you'll get fired immediately. You have to not ask out any of the girls. It does not work here. So I already said no to April. This is Bonnie right here. She's the girl we got with last time. And then there's um, girl, Chrissy Carson. So we got to not ask her out as well. So I'm just going to pop up. Don't ask her out. I don't want to ask you out, Chrissy, okay? I don't want any of you girls. I'm not allowed to fraternize. It's definitely not going to. Oh, there's Chrissy at the grocery store. Wow, what's going to happen between us? I don't know. So this already happened before. She actually, um, she brings Brad home to, well, did they go to Brad's house or her house? Rather run my, my place, yeah. So we go to Brad's house, we cook some soup with her, everything goes fine, then she, I think, leaves. Let me see if we got any options here. Are there any, any questions, or is it just, everything is just fine. Okay, we just, we, we date, it's all over, 15 minutes later. I enjoyed the evening, don't forget, you owe me supper sometime. We should probably go for her now. We'll go, we'll go for her first because we had we had a really nice time at the supermarket with her. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and then we find April on the beach. Okay. Brad just comes over and he squats down next to this girl wearing her bikini. How are you doing there, huh? Yeah, you're all dressed in your bikini? Nice to see you. Yeah, I know what that means, Brad. Then Brad goes and has a great time with pokey nipples in the water. They do a little bit of swimming. That's all fine and dandy. Don't forget to visit me at the library. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Brad. Brad gets to like all the girls, like just s happens to like stumble upon them all. Friday afternoon, one week later. Um, what about Bonnie? I guess Bonnie, yeah, Bonnie is here. Bonnie is the one who helps the homeless people. Good job, Bonnie. So Brad has a nice time with all three of those women by accident. I personally think that Brad is a stalker and knew exactly where these girls were gonna be, but that's just me, okay? Then he decides to call his dad. I'm not gonna call my dad. I guess I'll talk to dad some other time. I wonder if I should ask out one of those girls. Oh yes, you should, Brad. But um, last time we asked out Bonnie, so this time we are going to ask out Chrissy. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, Chrissy, it's Brad. Brad who? Oh man, come on, Chrissy. Seriously, I owe you supper. You said that, right? Come on. The guy who owes you a cooked meal. I was yanking your chain, what's up? Oh, so she's the funny one. She's got a sense of humor, guys. That's gonna go well, cause I like to laugh as well. <laughs> Well, would you like to have dinner at my place on Saturday evening? You're not going to make me a TV dinner in the microwave, are you? No, it will be a chef's surprise. It's gonna be a TV dinner. A man of mystery, I like that. What time should I come over? Dinner is served at seven, so get here a bit before that. Saturday evening, 6.55 p.m., guys. She's cutting it close. The baked macaroni and cheese with tuna is in the oven and should be ready in a few minutes. Brad, what if she doesn't like fish, huh? Some people don't like fish, should you maybe specify? Ask her what she likes? Doesn't matter. She's gonna eat it anyway, okay? Cause she just, she really likes Brad. That must be Chrissy. I hope I'm on time. Well, I mean, don't you have a watch, you idiot? <laughs> right on time and looking great. Uh, well, she wasn't supposed to be right on time though, was she? He said get, a, get there a bit before. And at 55, I was still checking on the macaroni. 
So is she at here at 55 or is she here right in time? If she's here right on time, she's late because I told her to be here early. But that's not important. She's not wearing those long stockings. She has nice legs. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> the two options here are tell her she has nice looking legs or don't be stupid. So I guess I won't be stupid. You look like you were about to say something. It wasn't anything important. Is there anything I can do to help? You can set the table. Do you remember where the dishes are? I remember. Thanks for helping me with the cleanup. You're welcome. But all I did was load and start the dishwasher. Shall we go for a walk? I'd like that. Okay, so we're going for a walk with Grizzy. Where the hell are we? Did I just bring you out in the forest? Well, sweet Jesus. It's overcast. We can't see the moon. Moonrise isn't until later tonight. We can still walk around for a while. Okay, let me lead the way. Where are we going? To the lake. Once we get there, we'll go swimming. Do you think it will be okay? It will be fine. The owner gave April, Bonnie, and me permission to swim any time. I know. I was there. Me, me and April, we hung out, uh, hung out at that, uh, that little lake at one point. A few minutes later, I thought boxer shorts would be more your style. Would you rather I wear boxer shorts? Never mind about that. <laughs> so Brad is wearing, like, what, tidy whities Come on, Brad. <laughs> you can't wear tidy whities out with a girl. Come on. Watch out, I heard the fish in here might swim where they aren't supposed to go. Come on, Brad, 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 Brad. You wouldn't tell her she has nice legs. You probably shouldn't be talking about where fish are gonna swim up inside of her, okay? What? Oh, you devil, you. <laughs> an hour later, guys, an hour of swimming. That was fun. I enjoyed it too. We'd better hurry. I should get back to the dorm. I'm probably gonna go there with her shortly afterwards. Can I see you next Saturday night? Yes, now shut up and kiss me. I'll call you at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hello, Chrissy. It's Brad. Hi, Brad. I've got a great idea. Bonnie is willing to loan us her truck for the day. Okay, what, uh, what shall we do? I packed a picnic basket and we can drive into the country. Well, there goes my chance to microwave a TV dinner for you. Ha 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 ha, Brad, stop it. You're not going to make me a TV dinner in the microwave. <laughs> Do you want me to meet you somewhere or will you pick me up at my place? <laughs> it's not my fault, guys. It says laughs next to it, okay? So I got to go along with the story here. I'll pick you up at your place in an hour. Should I bring anything? Bring something for us to drink. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. An hour later. Can you imagine that? Right on time! I like that about you, Chrissy. You're punctual. Haha, -ha, wise guy. What did you pack for us? You'll have to wait to find out. Man, you're you're a woman of mystery too! We're we're both just uh mystery people. Yeah. Fifteen minutes later. Where are we going? Off the beaten path. Bonnie made us made a map for us. Oh, okay. Thanks, Bonnie. Good girl. Okay, where <laughs> now where are we going? Look at a map! According to the map, we take the next right. The picnic spot is a half mile beyond a low water crossing. What's a low water crossing? It's a place where the road goes through a dry creek bed. Cool. There's the low water crossing! Oh my god! If there's a heavy rain, that would be dangerous. Okay. Look at the old burn. I don't see a farmhouse nearby. We passed the farmhouse on the other side of the low water crossing. I'll bet the barn is used to store hay or equipment. Yeah, that would make sense, because it's a barn. If you want to throw out the, the obvious uses for a barn, you can. I noticed the road ends here. How did Bonnie find this place? The guy who was the groundskeeper at the country club took her here. What was she doing with the groundskeeper? Hagrid, what are you doing, Hagrid? That guy gets around, dating April and Bonnie. Whoa, not really. Bonnie dumped him last year. Are you planning to get me drunk on wine so you can have your way with me? Who, me? While it's true that I am a scoundrel and a rogue, that's sparkling grape juice. I know. Let's have a toast. Here's to you. <laughs> Thanks, and here's to you. Hey, it got dark awfully quick. It's only 7 o'clock. I bet it's gonna rain. Oh, crap. It's raining. Cut the chatter. Let's toss this stuff into the truck and get out of here. A few minutes later. We'd better not try to drive through that. It's a low water crossing, guys. We're stuck here. Now what? It doesn't look like the rain is gonna let up. I guess we sit in the truck and wait it out. I'll call Bonnie on my cell phone, let her know we're stuck, and tell Miss Jones I went away for the weekend. All right, I would have told her that anyway, just to get her out of my hair. Two hours later, it's not lighting up. <laughs> I'm not crazy about sleeping in the truck and I need to use the little girl's room. Let's see if that burn is dry. Okay, I hope it doesn't stink. Well, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, okay? You're stuck. 
in the middle of nowhere. A few minutes later, it's dry and it doesn't stink. Yeah. That's uh, that's really gonna set the mood, guys. If you got a stinky burn, that's not a good place to be doing stuff with a woman. And here's a lantern. I'll see if the lantern has any fuel. Okay, I'll go to the truck and get the picnic blanket. Take your time returning. Wow, asshole much? Huh? Oh, okay, I understand. Smart man. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna use a little girl's room while I'm gone and freshen up for me. All right, all right, all right, all right. You're not being an asshole. I like that. A few minutes later. I really took my time, guys. Don't worry. I wish this was wine and not grape juice. And why is that? I just think it would be more romantic with real wine. As in, a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou? Something like that. Brad, why are you all of a sudden in the dark, you creepy bastard? Look at that, and his teeth are so white. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all, guys. Are you okay? I'm getting chilly. Why are you in the dark, too? Just, there's lots of stuff around us. Stop being in the dark. Okay, will you snuggle with me to keep warm? A gentleman would go sleep in the truck rather than compromise a lady. Oh, please, don't feed me a line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentleman does as his lady wishes. Good night. Good night. We should like wake up like like a few hours from now and we'll just be like, you know, just ready for some love making or something. The rain stopped during the night. The next morning the flood waters had receded and the low water crossing was safe to drive through. Do you want to go out next Saturday night? Yes, now shut up and kiss me. Chrissy and I dated throughout the summer. When September came, she told me that she had been accepted to Johnson City Junior College. Chrissy and I continued to see each other exclusively. Both of us transferred to State University where we received degrees, Chrissy in theater arts, and I got mine in systems engineering. Shortly after graduation, we married. April and Bonnie were bridesmaids and my father was best man. I began a career in system design. Chrissy began a career with the State Ballet Company designing costumes. I never did use a microwave oven to cook a TV dinner for Chrissy. The end. Play again and try for a different ending. How about we play again and try to not get, um, you know, the, the PG-13 ending, because that wasn't very good. I'll make sure to properly block out whatever happens, guys, but I do want to know how much different it's going to be. We just laid together. Really? I mean, PG-13, and you can at least do a little bit of stuff and turn the camera the other way. Damn. Play the adult version. <laughs> All right, time to ask out a girl. We're going to ask out uh, Chrissy again. What happens if you don't ask anybody out? I just saved my game, so let's try it. I <laughs> kept thinking about the girls, but never asked any of them out. Spent the rest of the summer working at Kennedy Prep. On my last day at work, Miss Jones told me to see her in her office at 5 p.m. You've done very well this summer, Brad. I've been pleased with your work. April, Bonnie, and Chrissy all speak very highly of you. I can't give you a cash bonus because of budget constraints. However, since it's after 5, I can invite you to dinner on Saturday evening. What? With you? What? This is no, this is no. Holy shit. What has 5 p.m. got to do with it? Kennedy Prep's ethics policy prohibit supervisors from socializing with employees. Your employment ended at 5 p.m. Whoa. Can I buy you dinner on Saturday night as my way of saying thank you for a job well done? I'd like that. Fine. Meet me at the bistro at 9 p.m. Dress casually. Listen, listen, I got, I got unfinished business with Chrissy, then I'll come back, okay? I promise. Time to tell Chrissy she has nice legs. Do you go jogging? No, but I use the treadmill in the gym at school. Is there anything I can do to help? You get, that, is that it? How is that being stupid? You weren't stupid, you just asked her if she likes to jog. It's very subtle. It's actually, um, it's pretty clever. Good job, buddy. Okay, so first of all, if you go swimming, they end up getting naked. And then he talks about the fishes going up inside of her. Great. Would you like a goodnight kiss? This didn't happen last time, did it? You don't have to ask. And he's already grabbing the boob, man! Wow! <laughs> You're being rather bold. Sorry, I'll stop. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't say stop. You have a gentle touch. A few minutes later, we we don't have our clothes on anymore. At least half of it. The, the top half is gone. I think I know where this is going. Should we stop? Do you want me to stop? No, but I will if you want us to stop. Oh, come on, Brad. Stop being a beta. Just do it. I don't want you to stop. I want to make you feel really good. How should I do that? Decisions, decisions, guys. We'll go with this one. Yep, definitely not showing you anything that's going on right now, guys. And I'm also not going to show you any of that. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot different. If you do the adult version, you get a lot more stuff. Brad, I hope last night was not a one-night stand. Chrissy, I love you too much for that. Jesus, Brad! You got... Have you never had a girlfriend before? You don't tell her you love her on the first date, dude! I love you too. Last night was wonderfully spontaneous. I'd like our next time to be extra special. I'll arrange something. When? Right after July 30th, you'll be finished with midterm exams. That's two weeks away. I don't want to distract you from studying. You already distract me and you distract me. I'll call you Saturday. Wow. 
These guys did not take long. There's more! You guys are gonna do it again? Really? Holy crap, they're adding even more into the adult version. Oh, Brad, this is wonderful. It must have cost a fortune. Don't let it concern you. Give me a kiss. Mmm, good stuff, Brad. Okay, well, it's pretty clear what's going on here, guys. They're in an argument. Brad's saying yes, Chrissy is saying no. Hopefully you guys can sort out your differences. And they did, guys! Brad is saying yes, and she's no longer saying no! Good job, Brad. Good job. Long story short, guys, they argued twice in one night. It looked very exhausting, and I'm sure they were really tired afterwards and went to sleep. And then the same things happened. They uh, probably got married again. Yep, they got married. Good stuff, guys. Congrats. All right, guys, so I know you're dying to find out what's going to happen between Brad and Miss Jones. Plus, we also haven't dated April yet, but I'm going to end this video here. So if you guys want to see some more, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.